Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts. Today I'm here with Brownell's Daily Defense to talk to you about physical fitness. So first, obviously there are tremendous amounts of benefits to being fitter. Everything from improved quality of life to all these other facets that are health related. But once we have kind of moved past that understanding that it definitely is in my best interest for quality of life, longevity, all of these other benefits, we need to also recognize that the violent criminal actors that we potentially would need to defend against, they really don't age. So the age group for them is gonna be from 13 to 30. And so that means that as we grow older, the VCAs stay within that age group, which is kind of like prime fighting years. And so we kind of find ourselves at a disadvantage as we grow older. And one way to combat that disadvantage is to maintain you know, a higher level of physical fitness. Yes, all the benefits of quality of life and things of like that nature are important, but really it's to, it's to manage ourselves in that type of a critical incident where the physicality of the actions that I'll be called upon to, to, to perform are going to be pretty high. So what are some things that you can think about as far as, well, what does being physically fit really mean? How do I define that? And there's a lot of ways that you can define it. And one of the recommendations that I have is around what I call the three S's. That's strength, speed, and stamina. So there needs to be a an understanding that I need to have a level of strength and whatever that could be, however you wanna measure that. But strength is a very important component here. I may need to be push somebody off of me. I may need to pull myself over something. I may need to pull somebody with me. So strength is going to be an important component to this physical fitness. Speed is also something that you probably should consider. And what are we talking about? Well, my ability to move quickly is really what we're talking about. Do I have to be able to sprint 100 meters? No, I probably just need to sprint far enough to get away from the bad guy or sprint far enough to get to some form of cover. But I don't necessarily need to sprint until the end of days. And speed can also mean body movement. The more physically fit I am, the, the quicker my actions are, the faster my response time. So speed kind of factors into that area. Stamina is about your ability to go for long distances. In other words, you might be involved in a tussle and you could just be trying to protect yourself. You could be trying to get yourself away from somebody. You could be trying to, to physically push somebody off or away from you. And that's gonna require a lot of stamina because to be able to do that for even an extended period of time, say 30 seconds to 60 seconds, you're gonna be finding yourself exerting a lot of energy during that time period. So the improved stamina will just help you to sustain yourself through that, through that duration. Just remember that Physical fitness is something that we should all strive for. We should all be putting ourselves through a critical eye and what can I be doing to better myself, to better myself for my family, for my, for my, children's, my children's future, better myself for my interactions with the rest of the planet, and then bettering myself for my ability to, to live a quality life that allows me the opportunity to enjoy the finer things, if you will. So, Keep that in mind as you start to think about this, that, or the other. And, and that's not necessarily to say that what you're doing is wrong. It's just giving you a bigger picture, something else to think about with regards to physical fitness. All right, I'm Jeff Gonzalez. We'd love to hear your questions or comments. Please feel free to post them down below. Until then, take care and stay safe.